Welcome back to video number four in myth busting. Now, we're talking about supplements and this is going to be a two pronged approach. This week, we're going to be talking about do you need supplements? Next week, we're gonna be looking at how much protein do you need? Because we're looking at the supplement industry, not the multivitamin industry. So they are technically supplements, but we're looking at protein shakes and protein bars, etc. Now, no matter where you go, no matter who you ask, you'll always get people in two camps. One camp will say, yeah, you know, you don't need supplements. You can get everything you need from real food. And yes, you can. And then you'll have the other camp that says, yeah, you need supplements. They're great, they're fantastic. So, let me ask you this. You need to answer this, yes or no. Whether you answer it yes or no will depend on if they suit you, because that's really the real deal here. So, let me ask you this. Do you have a routine and a lifestyle and a job that allows you to have regular set routines and more to the point eating routines and habits so can you sit down and have regular meals if the answer is yes supplements you don't really need them you can get most of the protein and most of the macronutrients that you need from food but if the answer is no and you've got a job that requires you know maybe a lot of driving a very demanding job that requires people at you all the time taking your attention and maybe you're between meetings you don't get time to sit down you're literally grabbing the next thing then a supplement might be for you because I know if I'm between appointments with a busy day and I don't have time to sit down and eat real meals that's a problem because if I miss a meal I know that the next thing I see I'm gonna eat and it's probably probably gonna be junk so having a shake, having a bar around, helps me A, keep my protein levels up, and B, stop them hunger pangs and stop me completely, completely falling off the wagon. And overall, it makes a huge difference to your long-term goals. So, answer that yes or no. Then, next week I'm gonna show you how much protein you actually do need on a day-to-day -day basis.